Visit ZombieGoBoom.com for K-Bar, Cold Steel, Ivan Targets, and more. When the zombie apocalypse arrives, will you survive? Zombie Go Boom. Kick undead ass. Hey, what's up, survivors? Welcome to another mind-blowing episode from Zombie Go Boom. This is a special episode we are calling Zombie Knockout, the only show that teaches you whether or not you can kill a zombie with your body as a weapon. We have two amazing challengers for you today, both of them professional fighters. Let's see who they are. In the left corner is Joe Jaeger Bombs Jaeger. He is a professional mixed martial artist currently ranked at 77th in the entire world in the light heavyweight division. He was formerly a super heavyweight champion for Rage in the Cage and currently he's the heavyweight champion for XFN XFL. If anyone can stand the chance to kill a zombie with one punch, it's definitely this guy. In the right corner is the one and only Randy Boom Boom Blake, a kickboxing superstar with a record of 30 wins and only 3 losses. He is also the ISKA heavyweight Muay Thai champion of the entire world. A kick from this guy will send you to the hospital, or worse. Let's see if it can crack a skull. Joe and Randy versus the patent pending Zombie Go Boom Ivan Head. It's the most scientifically accurate zombie head analog in the world. If they can get through this, they can get through the real thing. All right, now let's move on to round number one, where we will have Joe Jaeger Bombs Jaeger see if he can drop bombs and kill Ivan with one punch. In three, two, one. <laughs> Joe hit with a speed of 60 feet per second, which is equivalent to 40.91 miles per hour. He managed to hit with a force of 1,000 pounds, which some people say is equivalent to a sledgehammer to the face. Too bad Joe's fists aren't made of metal. His eyes closed. <laughs> Well, unfortunately, Joe Jaeger does not have what it takes to make a zombie go boom with one punch. But let's see if our second contender, Randy Boom Boom Blake, can make a zombie go boom boom with his legs legs. Three, two, one. The speed of Randy's kick was 90 feet per second which is equivalent to 61.36 miles per hour. The force behind that kick was a whopping 1,500 pounds. That's one and a half times more than Joe's punch. All right, now let's move on to round number two. Since that crap didn't work, we're gonna try to tag team Ivan by having both of our fighters stand on either side and punch Ivan. And then if that doesn't work, we're gonna have them elbow Ivan. Three, two, one. <laughs> Try some elbows. Three, two, one. Two, three. Not as easy as it looks, huh, keyboard doctors? Double nope. All right, let's move on to round number three. Let's see if Joe Jaeger bombs Jaeger has what it takes to kill a zombie with a baseball bat. Three, two, one. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, that's all I have with this mind-blowing episode of Zombie KO. If you're a professional fighter and you think you have what it takes to kill a zombie, 
hit me up on the links right here. Other than that, please favorite, share, tell your friends, and punch the living shit and f out of the like button because that really helps. I'm Chuck Murray, and we will see you next time. Wow, that's from punching the Ivan head? That's from punching the Ivan head. Look, you don't, you don't generally see people punching people to death in UFC matches, obviously. Uh, it's really hard. If you'd like to learn more about how to survive the zombie apocalypse, please subscribe to our channel. Our ZGB Ivan heads are really hard, but some weapons make them look really soft. Check out what the Swabi did to one of our Ivan heads. If you'd like to own your own ZGB-approved weapons that'll help you survive the zombie apocalypse, please shop at zombiegoboom.com.